All right. Uh, good morning or good evening, everybody. Hopefully everybody's doing good. It is uh, 10 p.m. on a Sunday night here. So uh, before we get going too quickly here, I just want to confirm you guys can see me and hear me, and then we will go ahead and get started. But uh, I'm pretty sure you can hear me and see me. Haven't had any problems yet, but uh, in the past I have known to have been known to talk for 30 minutes and find out I'm on uh, mute. <laughs> anyway, it was a, a really good day today for me. I had a, had a fantastic day. Um, tomorrow, I get my second vaccine shot. So I will be fully vaccinated uh, as of Monday, the uh, 30th. Looking forward to have that um, done with and out of the way and uh, hopefully that opens things up for a little bit of domestic travel here. Um, I also wanted to get a shot internally in uh, the Philippines because at you know they were saying at one point that uh, they didn't want to or they may may not recognize outside vaccine uh, cards or documentation and if you do have a vaccine even from outside the philippines that you still might have to quarantine the full 14 days anyway so um i figured since i'm here i'll go ahead and do the vaccine so anyway i get that done tomorrow and um so today i was uh checking out a new coffee shop with uh, one of my friends and uh there was a modeling show going on and i regret that i didn't have my my vlogging equipment because it would have been great to to go out there and um and like film it all and maybe try to get some interviews but all i had was i was with my buddy and it looks like they were kind of busy i pulled out my phone real quick and i did a 60 second uh, what they call a youtube short which is just a six, 60 second video i do apologize i probably should have zoomed in a little bit but my god some beautiful beautiful girls there wow um, but, uh, yeah, I, I did that and, um, that was, that was pretty cool to sit there and sip on coffee and, and, uh, and watch is it it a new coffee shop that I discovered. So <laughs> may have to go there more often if they're doing modeling shows, I'll tell you what. Um, anyway, the, uh, the whole live stream is about, uh, minimalism. We'll get into that in just a minute here and, uh, I will, uh, get through some comments here. Let's see here. Uh, we got Mr. Ron, of course. Good evening, Jim, and everyone from Davao City. Good to see you. Good to see you, Colin. Uh, how you doing, uh, Charles? Good evening. And we got Bruce here and Helen, Tanjai, Dave. Good to see you. And Helen's over in Bacolod, uh, which is in Negros Occidental. So, and how you doing, Bill? And uh, Mike from Sunday afternoon in the UK, yeah, which is why I do this uh, live stream at Sunday here at 10 p.m. Why I do it so late because I did get a lot of uh, people from Europe watching, and that was one of the complaints is that uh, they never caught any of my live stream. So that's why I do a 10 p.m. Sunday live stream. Um, I don't get as big of an audience as I do on my on my morning live streams. But uh, it, it doesn't matter. All right, so everybody can see me and hear me. That's great. Uh, was it a good day because you saw those bands earlier? <laughs> yes, exactly. That, well, that was it. And then um, I checked out uh, this kind of a fun museum where you do these, like, uh, um, photos with they have you pose with, like, uh, these paintings and stuff, like you're, like you're in, the, in the shot or in the painting. It's, it's kind of cool, so... Hey, how you doing, Aaron? Good to see you. First time catching a live stream. Okay, I appreciate that. And uh, loves music. Greetings from Germany. How's your new place, Maktan? Isn't it a bit quiet there around Missing Cebu City? No, it's not quiet around here. Lapu Lapu is a buzzing little area, to be honest. So, no, I I, um, I like it here. Cebu City is a bit too congested for me. I do like Cebu City, but I like it out here much better. I like the fact that I've got the ocean right here and, and everything. So I gave my missus a YouTube short last night. <laughs> Good for you, Pam. <laughs> uh, hey, Jordy, how you doing? And Michael, how's it going, Mike? 
by the way, uh, uh, shout out to my moderators. I appreciate you guys uh, keeping the riffraff in, uh, in order. <laughs> I rarely get a, a troll or anything anymore. You know, in, in the past, I'd get an occasional one, but uh, not really anymore. It's pretty few, far and in between. Uh, Stephen, how you doing? Good to see you from Portsmouth, UK. And Dave, we got you here. Heard the Philippines might open in 2023. You know, I still think that it's going to be 2022. More and more countries are coming out with this kind of bubble tourism type thing. Um, Malaysia just came out and said they want to start something, bubble tourism with Lanka. Uh, I might be pronouncing that wrong, Lanka. And um, then you have Indonesia wants to do it in September. Uh, Thailand, of course, is open. I know there's a lot of places that are closed with Thailand, but they're already doing it. And uh, there's talk of others kind of following suit. And I, I still think that uh, the Philippines might uh, open around the beginning of next year. I don't think it, it's not going to be a full opening. I really think it's just going to be kind of a soft opening, a controlled opening where it's maybe uh, one little island open, perhaps. Maybe something similar to Thailand where everybody can go to Phuket and after like two weeks or something, then they're free to travel throughout the Philippines. So maybe they'll do something like that. We'll have to see. Crossing fingers for you guys because uh, I'm already here, so no problem. But for you guys, <laughs> but at some point I'm going to have to leave. Hey, uh, good morning from D.C. Evening to you. Uh, Norberto, good morning. Hello. How are things going? Things, things are good. My ex made me a minimalist. Funny, funny you bring that up, Ron, because my ex made me a minimalist too. But actually, it was partly by choice. When it came down to divide stuff up, I just said, I thought about it and I said, you know what? You can have everything. Just take it all. And it was almost at first, I was like, I was like, oh, I want this, I want that. I was like going through making the list of everything I wanted. And then I started thinking about it and I was like, this is kind of a freeing moment for me to really just offload everything and just live with the essentials and uh, i've never I, I haven't looked back you know I, i'm very happy about that hey ryan thanks for the uh, super chat i'm just getting a plane ticket for may should be open by then i i think so um i i definitely think so so we'll see what happens um greetings gary from uh Adina, I'm sorry. I always, I always want to say it uh, differently. Adina, yes. Good thing you mentioned that. <laughs> uh, Gio, will you get vaccinated again? And when you go back to the states, UK only recognizes vaccinations from the EU and US, so maybe the same with other countries. Likely, what will happen is I will, uh, you know, I've got the Pfizer, or excuse me, not the Pfizer. I've got the Sinovac, which is definitely not the one that I wanted, but it's better than nothing. And uh, what will probably happen is I'll probably be due for this booster that they say you're going to need yearly or whatever, or every six months, whenever. And um, at that point, I will just go with the Pfizer or Moderna or something, one that's going to be universally uh, recognized, world world recognized anyway. And uh, Sammy, how you doing from Beside Negros Oriental? Uh, hey, Edward, good to see you, buddy. Good morning, Gio, from Colorado, where the smoke is finally starting to clear. Good. You know, I was in uh, working in Colorado. I was, I was just, I was still in the Army. I was in Colorado Springs at Fort Carson when there was a huge fire um, in Colorado Springs. It was just engulfing everything. It was huge. I think it was back in uh, 2005, 2006, 2006. 2006 maybe or so i can't remember anyway yeah good morning ryan good to see you daryl's over in phoenix and roberto okay charles good okay i'm guessing waitresses are feeling the pinch now hence the interview since the interview that waitress who was cut back to three days her name's roselle um has now quit her position and she's moved back home to be closer to her son. Um, her last day of work was actually today. So sadly, I won't see her around Mukhtan Newtown anymore. She's uh, gone back to the province. Um, she's gonna try to find a job nearby home. 
Um, but they had cut her back down to three days. So just didn't pay, you know, she was paying for a boarding house down here and all that. So it just doesn't pay for her financially. So good evening, Dan. Good to see you. And how are you doing, Connie? And uh, we got uh, Gennaro greetings from Los Angeles. When I moved cities a few years back, I sold a load of stuff and it was a liberating experience. I, I feel you. It, it was for me too. Um, it really was. When I got rid of everything and what I did keep right before I moved to the Philippines, what I did was I, I had my, I, I knew exactly what I was going to take with me as far as luggage to the Philippines. I had one little backpack, my laptop, um, and two suitcases. If I could do it again, I would have cut it down to one suitcase. That, that's the only thing I would say. And uh, I actually went packed, packed it all. And the first few times, I I couldn't fit everything in, so I had to offload more and offload more. So eventually, I got it down to that. And the rest, I just gave it all the goodwill. And I have like one box left. I've got uh, you know photo albums, uh, some some rewards and things that I got when I was younger and uh, my army uniform. I just feel like I, I just can't get rid of it. I don't know why, but uh, nostalgic. And I put it all in one box and it's in my sister's garage. So Gio, that's why you didn't show up yesterday because a lot of beautiful girls, you're selfish. You didn't bring us to see all the beautiful lady. Michael's still looking. <laughs> there, there was a lot of beautiful models today. Yeah. Hey, good morning, Yank in the Philippines. Good to see you. Jason, 2022, December. Oh, I hope not, man. I hope not. Good to see you, Mark. When do you think they're going to open the Philippines? I have a girl from there, and I would like to see her. I, again, th there's no way of knowing for sure, but the best, I still think, around the beginning of the year. I really do. Uh, so today's not, today's not coffee. It's tea. I do tea at night, coffee in the morning. <laughs> I'm actually thinking about cutting coffee off uh, for um, soon. And it's not because coffee itself within itself is bad. It's the problem is that I like a lot of uh, crap in my coffee, which is the bad part. Brits won't be going to Phuket as Thailand has just gone on the red list. Uh, so let's say how you'll live here as my girlfriend want by one city. I I don't know what that means. Somebody translate. Hey, Carlo, Paisano, come stay. You won't have to leave if you get a retirement visa. Yes, that's true. And then I'm already uh, talking to a travel agency about that. So, Obi, well, me too. Divor During divorce, I, I said you can have it all. I just kept the log cabin vacation at home. Perfect. You know, I mean, at first I really, I was like upset. She wanted this, she wanted that. She wanted the big screen TV. And then I started thinking about, it. I was like, you know what? Have it all. I really don't care. Just have it all. And, and it was great. You know, I'm like, she's got a bunch of junk. That's really what it comes down to. Most of it's junk. It's nothing that I really need. Has your friend in Columbia had any issues with getting robbed or drugged? It seems pretty common over there. I haven't had any um, friends really get robbed or anything over there. So, so no, not, not really. The only thing I want from my ex is my kid. I don't need any possessions. I can generate good amounts of cash monthly. Yeah, I hear you. You know, mine got full custody, so I, I, I get it. Uh, just landed in Cancun downtown. Not a lick of Spanish. What was I thinking? <laughs> Uh, what's up with the One Health Pass immigration changes coming in September 1? Yeah, it's interesting to see what's coming down the pipeline. It, it also does kind of show that maybe they do want to open and they're starting to, to roll out some things to prepare for that. So, so Willie says, I think bubble tourism could begin there in November, full opening as early as mid-January. Um, that's very optimistic thinking. I, I hope you're right. I hope you're right. So. Already got 200 uh, in the room. That's fantastic. It's only, only 14 minutes into the live stream. I, I appreciate that, guys. Uh, morning, Gio from Maryland. Thanks for, for doing these. Yeah, I, not a problem. I actually enjoy it. You know, when we were fully locked down, when I was in Dumaguete, 
I, you couldn't even go out in your neighborhood. That's how, that's how, how hardcore, what a hardcore lockdown it was. You had to have travel passes. You could only go to the grocery store within like a period of time from one to three and two days a week. I was doing a live stream every freaking day out of boredom. You guys, you guys kept me going, man, because it was, oh, I was like a caged animal, man. It was, it was horrible at the beginning. That's when I was saying, you know what? I, I think I'm going to leave the Philippines. I think I'd rather go back home. And just about got to my breaking point where I said, you know what? I, I'm, I'm going back home. I actually started looking at tickets and pricing them out and getting all the paperwork necessary to leave. But uh, I held off a little bit and it started to ease up. And, you know, at that time I had a girlfriend, so I didn't really want to leave anyway. So. Uh, my plans are to go in May as well for a couple of weeks, but Scotland's cases are skyrocketing. So although might be able to get into the Philippines, but might, might not get out of Scotland. Yeah, it's, it's just, I really feel like we just need to learn to live with it at this point. Without tourism means little commerce and lots of people are hurting. Hope most countries can open soon. I, I hope so, Dave. I hope so. U.S. government planning on sending me to Croatia end of September. So apparently they are open to travelers. Yeah, um, Croatia is. I, I had a buddy who was in Croatia, I believe, uh, Vern. So U.K. does recognize all WHO vaccines, but allow reduced restrictions for EU in USA. Oh, okay. I was joking. If I could put it in two suitcases, I wouldn't have kept it anyhow. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you know, I, again, if I could have did it again, now I'm I'm pretty average size. I'm only 5'9 and, you know, around 180 pounds, uh, a little less at that time. <laughs> I've gained I've gained a few pounds, but I would have not bought any clothes. I, I would have barely bought any clothes, honestly, because you can buy, I can buy my shoes here. I can buy my clothes here. I would, I would pretty much just went with a backpack practically. I mean, uh, not, not really a backpack, but maybe a small suitcase and a backpack and my laptop because everything here you really can buy, you know, but when I was leaving, I was like, Oh, I, I better bring this. I better bring that. And, uh, honestly, you can get whatever you need pretty much in the Philippines. And now I, I start to do, uh, Amazon pretty often. So I, 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 I can get pretty much what I need. Um, yeah, without any problem. So, hey, Jeff, good to see you from Ottawa, Canada. Watch your, watch your six. <laughs> uh, hi, Joe, are you retired here in the Philippines or do you still have a job of some kind? Well, I'm kind of a jack of all trade type of thing. Um, I, not too long ago, it's been about three, four months. I started into some t-shirt business, t-shirts and hats and some other things uh, with a buddy in the states and uh i kind of do the logos and he he markets it and sells it and uh you know we're doing pretty good at, at it um, but that business is totally in the united states i don't do anything here whatsoever and uh, i'm doing pretty well youtube makes me a little bit of money that's why um you know i do it it's it's fun for me i get to meet a lot of people most of my good friends uh, several of them in this group and in the live stream right now I met through YouTube, um, but I get a little income through YouTube. I, I still do some teaching. So yeah, I, I kind of do a bunch of different little things. So, oh, I, I appreciate that, Colin. Thank you. My buddy calls it 30 minutes mobile. <laughs> hey, Brad, good to see you. About to be wiped out on the Gulf Coast. Hurricane Ida is almost a Category 5. Wow, that's big. Hi, Gia. What about Filipinas and sex? Well, there are Filipinas, and some Filipinas like to have sex. So I, I don't know what, what more you want uh, out of it. <laughs> uh, hey, Tom, thanks for the super chat. I appreciate that. Uh, hello, uh, is it Ilian? E Ilian? Good evening. I just subscribed. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Welcome to the Madhouse. When are you visiting USA again? Maybe you probably said, I, you know, I had, uh, I, I always say I, I reserve the right to change my mind at any time because I do. <laughs> 
But uh, I was, I, I had planned to go to the USA, um, you know, before and things freed up and I ended up getting to Cebu when I started to travel and I'm just enjoying things here and the Philippines is still closed up and therefore I'm going to stay here until the Philippines opens back up and then I'll go back to the U.S. However, if my three-year mark hits, um, then I may end up having to go back to the U.S. unless I do the retirement visa. So we'll see. I just turned 50, so I can, uh, I, you know, I can apply for it now. Uh, two years ago, I started minimizing down to just a carry-on duffel bag, backpack, and suitcase. So refreshing to be light. And it, let me tell you, it's also not, not only refreshing to be light there, but once you're over here in Southeast Asia, you're going to appreciate it even more because if you decide, you know, you're in Cebu and all of a sudden you, you say, maybe you take a trip to Iloilo and you say, wow, this place is fantastic. I think uh, after this lease ends, I think I'm going to go move to Iloilo. And it's it's a lot nicer being able to grab a couple of bags and, and head over to the next island. It's much easier. So, uh, Ovi, thank you so much for the super chat. I, I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Let's see uh, let me get back to where, where I was here. Can't read the chat anymore. I think it, it's, it's got to be on your end. Maybe refresh your page. Being minimum is my new religion. It is. You know, and I, I really enjoy that show. I think it's on Netflix, maybe Discovery. I'm, I'm not sure what channel it's on. But uh, Tiny Home Nation or whatever that's called with these tiny little homes and Man, if I, if I was back in the USA living, that is what I would get. I totally, I, no need in, you know, before it was like, oh, wow, I want a 2,000, 3,000 square foot home. No, nah, if I could do that, if, if I was back in the US, USA living, I would go with one of these tiny homes. That's what I would want. So when I moved to Colorado, I sold or discarded almost everything. I came here with my dog and some irreplaceable things, photos, mementos. Yeah, that's exactly what I have left in a box in the garage. And uh, yeah. So, hey, Gunny, uh, Gio, I'm a minimalist for the most part, but I'm a musician. Is it possible to ship things like guitars and amplifiers to the Philippines or better to buy there? Well, you can do those uh, Balikabayan boxes, but um, I don't know how big your equipment is. You might be able to ship some of that. I don't know if it would be worth it or not. You might want to get a price on it and, uh, and see. But certainly guitars and amplifiers and all that stuff are available here. So you're just going to have to weigh it out and see. Maybe it's worth just selling it, offloading it, unless you're just really hooked on certain guitar or something. Um, and then buy it here. But uh, yeah, you might want to price that out. So what is this, Tom? You can just take it down permanently in my access to me. Two, maybe also permanently take it down on shirt. Three is all I have left. <laughs> okay, you're in number three now, huh? Uh, what impresses me about the USA is the success of a country that has natural disasters. West Coast is earthquakes and fires. East Coast is extreme winters, hurricanes and sinkholes. And mid is tornadoes. You know, well, the Philippines, too. The Philippines gets earthquakes. They get typhoons. They get flooding. And you know what? It, the Filipinos always seem to have a smile on their face, even in the most adverse conditions, uh, you know, from some tropical storm, earthquake, whatever. There they are with a smile on their face. So let's see here. Uh, we get conditioned to believe that we have to be married and we have to have lots of dollars, stuff to be successful. We really don't need either. You're absolutely right. It's uh, conditioning and uh, advertisement plays a big part in that. And you feel like you, you need to compete with your neighbors. It's like, wow, look at look at all the look at their front lawn. You know, I need to go out and buy this and this. Oh, I need to buy more plants. And it just seemed like. Um, you're just constantly competing with your neighbors, advertisement. You know, you want the biggest TV. Oh, oh a 72 inch TV is not big enough. I need a, I need a hundred inch. You know, I mean, it's just never ending. Best advice: become a minimalist before you get divorced. <laughs> That's there. You go. Can Filipinos fly to the Philippines and then return, or 
they can fly out of the Philippines. It's not easy for a Filipino to fly out. Um, easier if they're older, easier if they're employed, easier if they have a bank account, easier if they've traveled before. Um, but if they don't have a bank account, don't have a job, and you're trying to fly them out, and they've never flown before, very, very good chance they could be offloaded and you lose your money on a ticket. So you got to be careful with that. Been to Columbia six times, never had an issue. Yeah, the buddy I, I have that goes down there all the time, he's never had any issue. So, yeah, yeah, we got a Facebook group, uh, Geo in the Philippines Friends. Um, second shot is tomorrow. I'll be rising early to get that uh, second vaccine shot. So, Costa Rica is a good place. Yep. Uh, they just need a passport. Yep. And uh, the, the, thing, the thing is, is to get out of the Philippines. Don't hint that the jab is part of an evil conspiracy. <laughs> Hello, uh, Honey Joy. How are you doing? Watching in Qatar. I, I always love it when I get a, a new Filipina or Filipino watching. I, I always appreciate that. So a minimalist lifestyle can mean different things to different people, depending on how you're used to living. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Hey, uh, John, that's what I need to do. Um, that would be my project when I go back to the U.S. is di digitalizing um, all of my photos and and then just really have a few odds and ends left. Yeah. I'm not feeling putting 10K in a Philippines bank account for the SRRV. And some of the SRRVs will require 20K. Now, if you're prior military, like myself, you only have to put in 1,500. So I feel your caged animal feeling. I had to isolate in my house for 10 days. I was climbing the walls. I, I can't stay in my house all day. I just can't do it. I, I go crazy. I, it really, I, I just get cabin fever. Drives me nuts. The lockdown there has exploded the pregnancy rate. That's... It already was extremely high, but yeah, guess what? Guess what you do when you're bored? <laughs> raspberry mint. That's what I'm drinking, raspberry mint tea. Yes, uh, now, Bill, if you have 14 or 15 size shoes, bring those. Um, I have size 10, so I, I didn't really have any problem, but yeah, you got to But you can order through Amazon too. So, how's the Delta? Uh, it uh, it has gotten a little better, from my understanding. Um, we did enter into one more. They extended the modified enhanced community quarantine in Cebu one more week. They moved it to uh, through September seventh. So, I'm six foot tall and two hundred twenty pounds, but I struggle to buy clothes my size there, being as the Panais are tiny people you probably would struggle a little bit. So you might want to bring more clothes than the average person. Um, find out the brands that you really like and just know that you can order those from Amazon. Under $200, no import taxes. And then it's just the shipping fee, which I have found on Amazon really to be between around $14, $13 to $20 for shipping is usually what I pay on my Amazon. But uh, I just get a bunch of essentials that I need. Yeah, you're kind of a small guy, Ron. So, yeah, you can find clothes that, that probably fits you better here. Three years, 36-month visa in the Philippines. It's not really a three-year visa. What it is is you come in on a tourist visa. The tourist visa is good for 30 days. Um, well, actually, it's not even a visa. It's just... No visa needed for the first 30 days. And after that, then you can extend. The first one is 29 days and then 59 days. And they let you do two six-month extensions typically as well. Certain offices, the rules are never uniform. So depending on what immigration office you go into, they may have a different uh, rule. But uh, yeah, you can extend all the way up to three years without ever having to leave. And then at the three-year mark, you have to do an exit clearance. And then you can leave for at least 24 hours, come back in. Now, will that ever change in, in the future? It could. It could. I don't know. 
Um, hello from Ireland. I own a house outside of Cebu and imagine I'm still classified, classed as a tourist. What's that's so wrong. I'm not allowed to Cebu. A good friend is looking after it for me. Ugh. Yeah. Um, I think I kind of explained that. If, if you need more clarification, let me know. But I think I just clarified it in the comment above. Hey, how you doing? Uh, is it Ania? Ania? Good evening, Gio. Wor worth it to buy a condo in the Philippines somewhere like Cebu or da Davao City? Me, personally, I just don't feel like they build them good enough here. Um, they just seem, every condo I've ever, I've ever lived in seems to kind of deteriorate and they don't really upkeep it. I don't know what happens with the HOA fees, the Homeowners Association fees. I don't know if they're pocketing the fees or what, but it seems like after the condo is a, a few years old, five years old, whatever, the upkeep on it just goes downhill. So I personally don't feel real comfortable buying a condo here. Now, some people may have a different experience, but for me, I also like having the flexibility of saying, you know what, there's a brand new condo that just opened up across town that's in a perfect location. The pool is amazing. The gym's amazing. I want to move over there. So I don't like to tie myself down by buying a, a condo. If I want to buy property, I think I'll do it in my home country and use it as a income, you know, moneymaker by uh, renting it out or something. Uh, the restrictions, there are restrictions. You can't really order like food items. I don't think you can order like seeds or plants or anything like that. I don't know if you can order medicines. Um, I don't think so. I haven't tried that, but I don't think you can. Um, but as far as like I order shaving cream that a per particular brand that I like, I order the Amazon razors, which are phenomenal and cheap. I order certain clothes. Um, now I, I order um, <sighs> underwear, socks, uh, just things that like quality stuff that that I, I want good quality things that are going to last a long time. And a lot of things that you buy here in the Philippines, they're kind of knockoff items that are made in China and they just don't last long. So I, I buy a lot of stuff. Um, I bought my Kindle, my Kindle paper white uh, reader, you know, ebook reader. I bought um, yeah, just lots of stuff. So again, uh, restriction on Amazon, two hundred dollars or less. There are no import taxes; just the shipping fee. If you go over two hundred, it's almost not worth it to. It's probably not worth it to buy from Amazon then, because then. It, they tack on the import fees and it's going to be pretty expensive. So, hey, how you doing from Slovenia? Good to see you. Sick uh, puppy. Good morning, San Francisco. Another great advantage of the Philippines is that you don't need any expensive winter clothing, snow boots, T-shirts, cargo shorts, polo shirts, and sunglasses. You, you got it, buddy. That's it. That's all you need. It really is. So, a little bug flying around. Uh, here in Australia, we have taken a massive step backwards with COVID-19 and the authorities as truck driver. I have to be tested every 72 hours now, which is ridiculous. You see Jennifer Terry post about a Filipino was flying off to meet her boyfriend in Maldives and the immigration officer turned her away, turned her away saying she's too young. I'd be fuming if that was me. Yes, this is what I'm talking about. This is why it, unless you're Filipina, if she doesn't, if she doesn't mark these uh, boxes, check these boxes, I wouldn't bother buying her a plane ticket. If she hasn't flown before, if she has no bank account, if she has no job, um, if she's like young, 18, 19, 20, 21, probably don't want a chance trying to fly her somewhere because she's good chance she might be offloaded. Are the beaches in near CDO as beautiful as elsewhere? In the, not really. CDO doesn't really have any beaches, but you can go over to Iligan City, which is, has some decent ones. Um, you can take a boat ride over to Camigan Island from, uh, from CDO, and, and there are some good beaches there. How do you advise people on getting rid of junk they have emotional attachment with? That's the hard part. That's the hard part. Um, it's hard. You know, people get emotionally uh, like attached to junk, really, when it comes down to it. You know, I it was it it took me a long time to just look at my stuff and say, you know what? 
does this serve me? Does this have any purpose in my life? Does this make my life better any way, any shape, any form? No. It's um it's junk when it comes down to it. I mean, can it be replaced at, at a later date? Um, does it bring does it bring me any more happiness in my life? I mean, typically the answer is gonna be no. I have found that uh, my fondest memories and happiest moments in my life are looking back at relationships that I've made, friends I've made, traveling, um, things like that. It's, it's never, I've never looked back and said, wow, remember when I owned this or had that? Remember when I bought this big TV? I mean, that, that stuff doesn't really matter. Hello, Gio, watching from Manila. Good to see you. Toblerone Nestle. You like chocolate, I guess, huh? <laughs> uh, my in-laws in Vietnam say the lockdown there is, yeah, yeah, it is. They're only allowed to go out once a week to the store and only for an hour or two they're allowed to go out. Yep, I have heard that. That's it's rough. Yeah, Mike moved from Luzon to Cebu a few weeks ago. He had no problem. Yeah, If you're married or in LTR, minimalism isn't an option. Yeah, now there's things, but you you can, you can, you don't still, you don't need a bunch of junk, right? If you're married, there's no need to, to you know, um, accumulate a bunch of junk. You can still live a somewhat minimalist life. Um, if you're married to a Filipina, you're probably going to be somewhat of a minimalist anyway, versus married to a Western girl who wants, you know, um, my ex-wife collected plates, just um, bells and all kinds of knickknacks and crap, you know, most Filipinas, they, they don't collect a bunch of stuff like that. Uh, in normal times, what's the advantage of the retirement visa? I mean, it costs 1400 I reading if you pay 180 every year. Well, um, you don't have to keep going to the immigration office only only got to go once a year um you only have to pay the 180 per year the tourist visa i think runs around 450 or so a year it has some extra benefits uh like medical and some other things like that i believe I, i'm not sure you'd have to read into it you can go to the srrv website and read about it hgtv tiny homes that's it so Hello from Sweden. I plan on moving to the Philippines in four years. My girlfriend wants to live in Bayawan City, Negros, or Hintel. What do you know about this place? I know a lot about Bayawan. My ex-girlfriend is from Bayawan. I have a bunch of videos in my playlist about cities reviewed about Bayawan. And um, so, yeah, I, I'm very familiar about Bayawan. Bayawan is very nice. They have a very nice boardwalk there on the ocean. It's a very quiet town. There's a lot of beautiful nature around. Um You'll like it. Uh, are there contracts there six months or eight, eight or a year? If you renew, they go up in price. Well, you can lock in prices by, you know, doing a, a contract. So you're lucky in the U.S. You can buy cheap houses in some states. In Germany, there isn't much land and houses in third tier cities are 600K plus. On the other hand, rent prices are low. Whew. I do scuba dive. Yep. Um, I did great shark diving trips to Malapaspa, three-hour taxi from Cebu. Yeah, that's the uh, thresher sharks, right? I want to do that dive myself. I haven't done that one, but yeah, I, I do that. If and when you research the retirement visa, maybe we can hash it out on here. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Absolutely. I, I, I wouldn't mind doing a whole uh, live stream about uh, retirement visas. I read that if you get a retirement visa, you have to have 20,000 in the bank to get one. It depends which one you get, Jeff. Um, they also have one that's 10K. So there's a few there's a few out there. And if you were in the military, then you only need to put 1,500 in. So, hey, hello, Gio. Hi, everyone from Savannah, Georgia. Experience is greater than material things. Yep, I, I agree, Ruben. Uh, Scott, hey, Gio, I'm buying and outfitting a catamaran. My plan is to head to the Philippines, but I'm having issues finding marinas on there. Can you advise me where to go? I don't know offhand. I know in Cebu there was a guy that I, I know that lived, I believe, in Danao or Liluan. 
um, Cebu, and he had parked his uh, sailboat out there. So I know there are areas I would have to look into it. Uh, you know, um, you think you could, you think you should be able to Google that and find that answer maybe. Um, what I liked the most about where I was in the Philippines was the very minimal technology. It sort of reminded me of my childhood growing up without internet. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, every Filipino is on, on, on their cell phone now. <laughs> Minimalism has made a lot easier to downsize to a cheaper apartment, making it easier to save for retirement to the Philippines in a few years. That's, that's the way to go. Just to keep that mindset. If Filipinos do leave the country. Uh, where is it possible to meet our Filipino girlfriend away from the Philippines? Um, I think somebody mentioned it earlier, but Costa Rica, you've got Colombia, you've got Brazil, you've got um, uh, Dubai. I think there are some other places. What you want to do is look up, um, if you Google um, um, visa-free countries for Filipinos and, and then see which countries that they can go to without having a visa, those would be the countries that you want to uh, meet them in. And you want to make sure that they don't need a transient visa. Like they can take a flight directly to that country or a, away from the United States or other countries that require a transient visa. I don't know. Right now I have a card. So I will see what kind of documentation they give me tomorrow. So. <laughs> Please do a walk talk session after your second shot and see how long you can last. Just kidding. Uh, what's Geo's bucket list for travel destinations um, within the Philippines or just in general? Because uh, I have a different bucket list for for both of them. Uh, minimalism is the way forward, brother. Airbnb it around Asia. Got your TV, utensils, etc. included. Just need your clothes and laptop. Yeah, really, really. There's another one that requires a 20K, and I'm not sure which one that is. But if you go to the SRRV website, you can read about it. Yeah. Otherwise, 20K. Okay, gotcha. Um, I'm wishing you all the best for your second jab, and hopefully you don't feel too unwell afterwards. Hopefully. The first one, I, I didn't have any side effects whatsoever. So, But they say the second one is a bit more. Um, if Filipinos do leave the country, they have to quarantine on return. Yes, they do. Yep, that is correct. Let's see here. Uh, any restrictions on the VET deposit amount? Here's another one. Uh, no, no, just $1,500. Doesn't matter. Doesn't make a difference. Yeah, they don't recognize the Sinovac. Yeah, I, I get that. I get that. But they do in the Philippines, and that's where I'm, I'm living, and that's where I'm at. And uh, I will, you know, probably have to get the Pfizer, the Moderna at some point. So it's just the way it is. I'm getting ready to ship a box using LBC. What is the tax issue with that? Are all boxes opened? Maybe somebody else can answer that because I don't have any experience of ever shipping anything like LPC or anything over here. So I don't know. I don't know. Um, it uh, it depends. If if Duterte, Sarah Duterte runs, I have a feeling she's probably going to win. But uh, I, I just don't know. Again, not much I can do about it anyway. I, I'm just uh, I'm just a foreigner, here, you know living in the Philippines. Uh, okay. Uh, stayed at the Shangri-La in Cebu a couple times. That's a nice resort. It's just down the street from, uh, from me. I've been going to the Philippines since the seventies. Wait till your 12th floor is up in a condo and there's an earthquake. I do not like condos. Yeah. Um, in the areas where, like in Mindanao, I don't really feel too comfortable in a condo. Yeah, I, I get that. But then again, you know, in places like San Francisco and stuff, they they have it too. 
Yes, I would have to do like a swab test before I went back to the USA. Yeah. What kind of benefits can veterans re receive in the Philippines? Well, they do have a VA clinic in uh, Manila and they will see you for your service connected disability. No, I don't like Angeles City. Um, I've been there a couple times. I had a buddy that lived there. He tried to get me to move out there and um i didn't like it I, did, I just it's too overrun with koreans and chinese and foreigners and it's the type of and, and not only that's the type of tourists that i don't want to be around um, the guys that are looking for you know the bar girls and uh, heavy drinkers and stuff now not everybody a lot of people like to live in angeles they're just regular folk that uh, are there because it's just it's got a lot of Western amenities. It's got condos. It's, you know, it's got an airport there. So there's a lot of good things too. But for me, it's just not my I, ideal place. Um, you can ask Mike in the group. Mike was living in, uh, in Angeles and Subic and he likes Cebu better. I just watched the Netflix documentation on Caitlyn Jenner. Bruce was an absolute machine of an athlete. It's good to watch. <laughs> I don't know if I want to watch uh, Caitlyn Jenner. Um, my teaching was not affected because I had went pri to private teaching a year ago and I stopped teaching Chinese students. You only can get Chinese students really, not privately, but through the ESL schools. And I was teaching privately um, an Italian student, some Vietnamese students, even a Filipina um that married to an american american guy so um never affected me at all how you doing ozzy good to see you yeah ryan ryan guys if you guys want to go to ryan outdoors ryan just recently bought a school bus and he is converting it into a tiny home or an rv um really cool the work that he's doing on that school bus converting it um so you guys, Ryan Outdoors, has got a fantastic, uh, fantastic channel with the uh, um, converting the bus. If you guys want to check it out, I'm going to I'm going through the withdrawal process with my junk as I get ready to move to Thailand. Yeah, you know, once you're rid of it and you're out out and gone, you won't even miss it. I don't even think about one little item. There's nothing that I think about. Weather is cooler here than it is in South Florida. I, I agree with that. Yeah. Cool from Florida. Okay. Yeah. I, I used to live in Florida too. Yeah. That's the thing. If she's younger, you can fly out. You have to be with her. You have to um, show pictures with the family and chat history, interview, sign saying that you return her. And yeah, you, you have to do all that. Yep. I get that. I have a shed full of tools. I need to finish all my DIY jobs before I can offload them. I flat out refuse to pay someone else to do the work I can do myself. Well, yeah, especially if you have all the tools, you know. Usually I travel to Thailand and Laos, but first time I will be traveling to Thailand. Usually I travel. I didn't get that. Okay. Uh, Key Largo. Go. Nice. Key Largo is a nice area. I'm just coming off two week Tompo suspension note to self, no matter how benign the message to your ex-wife is, don't accidentally type it in your Filipino girlfriend's chat window. <laughs> Part of my minimalism journey, I got rid of all the commercial grooming products. I use ivory bar soap for bathing, shampoo and shaving, add a salt crystal stone for deodorant, huge savings. Hi, Gio from Bacol. Uh, I'm stuck here and I can't fly back to Manila. My boyfriend, Roy, asked me to watch and say hi. He's in Brighton, UK. Well, hello, Roy. And uh, thank you, Faye, for uh, watching. What are you able to carry in your hands on the day following your last living day above ground? Huh? Last living day above ground. Uh, the West is moving on from COVID. If Southeast Asia doesn't do the same soon, it will be economically damaging for a whole generation. It's, it is, yeah. 
one of the biggest issues on being a minimalist is the American compulsion to com constantly buy stuff you don't need. Amazon makes it tough. Yeah. Um, people get that um, dopamine that, uh, you know, that, that produces like a good feeling when you receive something or you buy yourself something. It's uh, it's an addiction like anything else. I certainly have no emotional attachment to my junk ex. <laughs> hey, how you doing from the Netherlands? Good to see you. Uh, first time traveling to the Philippines. Oh, okay. Gotcha. First time. Okay. Geo, they won't offload your Filipina. I disagree. I don't, I don't I don't know if I agree with that. It depends, though. Um, like I said, if she's young, never has traveled anywhere, doesn't have a bank account, doesn't have a job, there's a good chance she could be offloaded. Yeah, that's exactly what I was saying, Ruben. Mm -hmm. Filipinos don't possess a lot of stuff. So minimalism is easy for Filipinos. So it's great to, to marry a Filipina. They don't really have a lot of stuff. So it's kind of easy. And they think it's a waste of money, too. Uh, greetings from Southern California. If you had two weeks to do island hopping, what would your itinerary be? I want to go next year, hopefully. Um, okay, so I would, I would start off in Cebu, and then I would jump over to Bohol, Bohol to Negros Oriental, and Negros Oriental to Sikior in Apo Island. That's where I would go. I learned to scuba dive in the Dominican Republic. Drunk does not count. <laughs> well, they don't have uh, mobile home campers, uh, Bruce, here in the Philippines. You, you don't even find those here. Hey, good morning, Roger. If married, we'll stay. Okay. Uh, I went to Turkey, Georgia, Colombia in search of a replacement for Southeast Asia, but no dice. Only Southeast Asia feels like home. It's, I'm the same as you. You know, I, I will travel to a lot of places. I'll go to Colombia at some point, but uh, my home is already Southeast Asia. It's just, it's just where it's at. How many apps and things do I need to go to the Philippines? I need One Health. Vaxer, something called a yellow card, and what else? It's all very confusing. I don't know yet. There's no final decisions on it yet. So anything I tell you right now could, could end up changing. And there could be a new app. So I, I won't tell you what to download yet. Uh, by the way, I'm way behind in comments, guys. I'm so sorry. Uh, thank you so much, Edward, uh, for the super chat. I haven't changed. I had changed to my mindset to collecting experiences rather than stuff i will however have a really hard time getting rid of my jeep oh that's a, that's understandable i love that jeep because it brings me those experiences you're right any chance you ha um how often are you going to go back to the u.s like if you're here living here edward how often will you go back to the u.s well does it does it pay to have it sit at somebody's house and have them start it up will you go back often enough that you would use it if not as much as it pains you, you're going to have to offload it. It's just the way it is. So. Appreciate the uh, super chat, Edward. Let me see here. I'm so behind in comments, guys. Sorry. <laughs> Where am I? Where am I? Okay, here we go. Uh, visa, I understand, but like the driver's license, I have a car license, no motorcycle license. Is easy. Yes, it's easy to get a motorcycle license. Um, they don't even care if you have a motorcycle license. They just want you to have a driver's license. So even if it's just for an automobile, they don't they could care less. Uh, thanks to you for information. I've learned a lot of good information you have recommended. Thanks from Georgia. Hey, no problem. No problem, uh, Jeff. Lots of nice Marines here that have slips big enough for a catamaran. Okay. Thanks, Mike, for, for uh, sharing that. I thought they did. I'm in Rika now with my girl doing the whole 90 days. Okay. Make sure she has an affidavit of support and that exit permit for which she needs a seminar. Mine got offloaded first time. Hi, Gio, from North Georgia Mountains. Would love the return to the Philippines soon. Well, hopefully, hopefully soon. Also, don't transfer through the U.S. and Paris, France. Yeah. 
Uh, Spain is best. Yeah, Spain is nice. So how you doing, Tim, from uh, Pampanga? Return not possible through Taiwan and Thailand now. So, hey, Filipinos perspective, good to see you. I don't know, we've been meeting, uh, meaning to meet up in Danao and, and do a video. Shipped LBC and none of the boxes were open. Currently waiting on three boxes to arrive in Cebu. Good, good. Affidavit needs to be certified by Philippines. Embassy was another problem, but I got that solved in Costa Rica. Learned a lot and paid even more. Um, I can't relate only to minimalism. It must just be a guy then. Queenie is mute. <laughs> uh, Gio, why don't you go to the VA clinic for Johnson Johnson vaccine one shot and done? I should have did that. Um, Tim, I probably should have did that, but they had come out with the news in Lapu Lapu that they were going to start not allowing people into certain establishments if you didn't get the vaccine. And I'll be honest, I panicked a little bit and just I was like, okay, I just need to get the shot. Um, yeah. I'll be see boxes, no taxes so far. Okay, good. Oh, excuse me. The veterans retirement visa, does that apply to just Americans? I did nine years in the British Navy. Um, I thought it just applied to the American military, but maybe it uh, is for others as well. So I, I guess you would have to, you could find that out on the SRRV website. Have you and Paul ever considered being a relationship coach for expats and guys online or around the Philippines? No, <laughs> I, I don't. I, I don't want to be a relationship uh, coach for anybody. Um, I did have somebody off, offer me one time, can you set me up on some dates and uh, and go out with me on a first date just to see, just to let me know how she is, you know, like do a double date with him. And, you know, and uh, I did that, uh, but I never I didn't do any relationship coaching. I don't think I'm qualified for that anyway. <laughs> Um, I ship four to eight boxes every couple of months at $80 per box. No problem, but pack and wrap 100% with tape. They get beat up. Yeah, yeah, for sure. They're going to, they get really beat up. My Amazon boxes when they come are, are pretty beat up sometimes. Um, I sent an LBC package to Cebu, 23 pounds, cost me 190 bucks. No weight restrictions. Yeah. Um, for Filipinas going to Dubai to visit, it require a sponsor that makes over 3000 a month. I was going to meet my girlfriend there because she used to work there. Ah, okay. Well, see, I didn't know that. I didn't. That's, uh, you yeah. know. Don't be fooled, fellas. The elite are flying. Yeah. Yeah, Clark is great for flying. Clark is great. Uh, Mike says he definitely likes Cebu better than Subic or Angeles. Yeah, I, I thought so. Larry Diamond, CEO of Zip, is in America as we speak. Are most condos furnished for renting in the Mok? Yeah, they're all furnished. All furnished. Um, most places here are going to be furnished. Most condos are already furnished. Yeah. All this, it came with the fan, the paintings, the the. Everything, the TV, all of it, all here. Hey, Beverly, how are you doing? Watching from Manila. I appreciate that. Uh, Philippines would have to go a long way to surpass the insanity of U.S. politics. Getting away from politics is one reason I want to live in the Philippines. Life is too short to think about that stuff. I, I agree. I don't. Some people tell me, oh, did you see that thing with Biden or Trump or blah, blah, blah? And, and no, I didn't because I don't even pay attention hardly anymore. You know, I, I just don't. Uh, to be able to open a bank account in the Philippines, there are certain requirements you have to meet. For example, you have to be there for a certain amount of days, et cetera. Is that correct? Yes. Typically, the, you, you need to be here at least six months. They want to see your alien certificate of registration. They usually want to see it with a full year left on it. So like right when you get the ACR card, open up the bank account. They want to see something like a lease or the electric in your name. They want to know that you're actually going to be here for the for a while. 
Every bank is different though, and none of them are, are uniform. Who's more inclined to get married in the Philippines, you or Paul? I would say me. Paul doesn't want to get married. I, I still actually have, have the hopes of uh, getting married one day. I'm not afraid of it. So stupid or not, I don't know. But uh, uh, I became a minimalist after my last divorce. No choice. Nothing was left. I, you and me both. Me, you and me both. But I, I did volunteer to give it away. The restrictions in the city, do you? Uh, not really so bad. It's not so bad. It really isn't. Uh, the second shot may make you feel icky for two to three days because you have built antibodies from the first shot. This is actually a good thing because you will know how it worked. Okay. Well, I'm, I'll be expecting that. We'll see what happens tomorrow. Uh, Gio, always a pleasure, but I need to go for a touchdown in the end zone. Live long and prosper. All right. Take care, buddy. And Filipina perspective. Yeah, you're right, John. Key to minimalism, understanding wants versus needs. People really think that that their that their wants are really needs sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, read what I wrote. My girlfriend was overseas twice before and still got offloaded. Yeah. So Gary says SRV, 50 years old and above, retired military, monthly pension disability of at least. 1,000 and an SRRV deposit of 1,500. The funny thing that, though is, is you don't have to be retired. I don't know why they say retired military because you don't. I know plenty that are not retired military and they do it. They just need the uh, honorable discharge. Uh, the West has moved on from COVID because of vaccinations. Asia will move on when they reach similar levels. Philippines has now taken delivery of 50 million doses. So things are moving forward. I, I do. I really think, uh, I still think the beginning of the year. I really do. It's morning here in Los Angeles. Yeah, it's early. Hey, Mylin, good to see you. Good to see you and, and Dave. Uh, David, minimalist life is a good thing for me. No wardrobe to spend time, what to wear every day. I learned a lot. You don't need a, a huge wardrobe uh, in the Philippines, do you? Just flip flops and, or in the Philippines, as, as they call them, slippers, t shirts, and shorts. Actually, our mistake to rent unfurnished apartment in the Philippines, move here in Florida, we got a hard time selling our car and our furniture there. That's why it's really better to at least get furnished apartments. I agree. I like having a furnished apartment. And my place was brand new, never been lived in. So, the bed was clean. The, the bed still had the plastic on it. The couch still had plastic covering. Yeah. Lending money to people. It's a donation, not a loan. Yeah. That's, that's an old video that we already did. My empathy would get me the, the most of me if I see my new beloved Panay girlfriend living in a rundown place and living in a nice condo and not letting her move in with me. What do you think? Um, my opinion on that, Dave, is if you don't want to rush moving in together, what you can do is at least make your girlfriend's life a little bit more comfortable. In other words, if she's living in a boarding house for a thousand pesos a month, and trust me, there's boarding houses that are literally 20 bucks a month. Um, you can offer to move her into a little nicer place for like 3000 a month or something or 5000, you know. Um, maybe one with a little window air con unit and, um, you know, a proper CR, you know, you don't have to move her in, but maybe at least make her life a little bit more comfortable. You know, um, I agree. I, I can't sit. If I have a girlfriend, I cannot sit idly and happily and comfortable in my condo while my girlfriend lays on a mattress on the floor with no air condition and no proper meals or whatever. I can't do that. I'm sure most of you guys probably feel the same way. Do I want to move her in immediately? No, I've made that mistake in the past, but what I will do is make her life much more comfortable, at least until the time comes where we are living together. So that's how I feel about that. Uh, hey, Ed, I, oh, that's for Ed. My Filipinas 
my Filipina pack rat shoes and clothes. I call her Miss Marcos. Might need them someday. Attitude, survival, behavior. Now, did she pick that up only once she got married and lived in the West, or did she, or was she like that in the Philippines too? Though. I have two old classic Spanish Montesa motorbikes. I just can't bring myself to let them go, but I'm going to have to in three years. Yeah. Take a picture of them. You can look back and, and think about it. Youngest graduating high school in about 18 months, then need to split with wife. Any advice for planning ahead? Need to split. Any, any advice on splitting with your wife or like, <laughs> I don't know. Um, are you, are you, you know, the best thing you can do is at least for now, pay off as much debt as you can, you know, start to start to cut all your, uh, you know, start to cut all your, um, things, all your stuff, try to get rid of stuff ahead of time. You know, I mean, I think that's what you're talking about. Okay, I can't talk properly or uh, intelligently on this because I haven't been to Ilo Ilo. I want to go to Ilo Ilo. I probably will go there in the very near future. Versus CDO for life quality, um, CDO I like a lot. I really do. Ilo Ilo though, I hear is really clean, very organized, nice big roads, condos, malls. So you know, you know what. Um, you might just want to check them both out for like a week. That's a good answer. Uh, your hands are empty when laid to rest. So why stress and suffer to have that new car, huge house with a pool, wealth obtained through travel and experience takes my fancy. Amen to that. Very well said. SRV applies to British forces, also Australia and Canada. Okay, that's excellent news. That's good because I, I did not know that. And that, that's good to know for future reference. So, Let's see here. Yes, absolutely. You can find mat good mattresses here without spending a fortune. Yes, um, there's a place in Cebu and actually around the Philippines, and it's called Mandawi Foam, and you can and you can find great furniture and uh, mattresses and stuff there. Everyone is wanting to bring their bride to the West. I met the sweetest Thai nurse, but she turned into a monster when I brought her to the UK. Well, you know, that, that happens. Hey, good morning, uh, Teresa. Good to see you. Uh, before COVID, did Philippines have cruise ships going between islands and other Southeast countries? They had cruise ships going to different countries, not really island to island so much. They did have some, um, but they do have these luxury ferries that take you on the long haul. Like if you wanted to go all the way from Manila to like, you know, wherever, or like, for example, I went from Cagayan to Oro to Cebu, which was, I took it, it was an overnight trip. I think it was like 10 hours or so. And uh, they had live music. They had a restaurant. Um, they had like a, a little 7-Eleven type store. They had sleeper rooms. And um, it was fantastic. It was fantastic. So um, I enjoyed that a lot. So if you're going to travel someplace like uh, L one island to another island, and it's not a short trip, it's like a longer trip, consider doing an overnight and get yourself a sleeper room. You got live music. You got restaurant. It's fantastic. It was a lot of fun. By the way, we got 300 in the room, so fantastic. Uh, I came in late. Which um, it's uh, unfortunately, buddy, it's Cinevac. It's not what I wanted, but it is what it is. So, yes, I, I know they're far superior. I definitely already know that. Hey, good morning, Gio from Arkansas. Hope you're doing well. I'm doing good, Joshua. Well, Eric, th there's no definites right now, but um, if it's probably going to count against your 30 day visa, but, you know, it's not a big deal to just extend it 29 days, uh, you know, as soon as you arrive. Um, you can even do it at the airport when you land. A guy walks into Starbucks, he has the barista for a mild roast. The barista looks him up and down and replies, you have average ears. <laughs> Supposed to get the Pfizer here in Davao. Well, they have Pfizer and Moderna now um, all over. So, 
Do you know, in the Philippines on the PRA, it says retired military, where I should say retired receiving a pension and a military veteran. Ah, okay. Gotcha. What brand of laptop? Well, I have uh, two. I have, uh, let me see, I, I have a uh, Lenovo. I like Lenovo. And I have an uh, Acer. So I, I like both of those. I like Lenovo. There's a lot of good laptops. I would get your laptop in the U.S. or the U.K. or Australia or, or Canada. Don't um, don't buy a laptop here. It's marked up 30 to 40 percent more, and even the quality is not as good. No, Mexico is not that easy to get a uh, visa. Um, I've known a few that I've checked into, it and they said it's kind of a difficult process. So, yeah. You know, Roy, I may I may steal these animal pictures because I really love them. So it's possible. Once I retire there, I don't think I'll return to the U.S. enough to justify keeping the Jeep. I'll just have to make sure she has a good home. <laughs> Maybe they will let you visit her, uh, you know, visitation rights for, for your Jeep. <laughs> Filipinos have to go to the Mexican embassy in Manila. I can't do it online. Okay, that's what I heard too, Rick, and it's not easy to get. My understanding. FW, married waitress from Cebu, Marco Polo. She has been in the U.S. for 10 months and not one Tompo. I think waitresses at hotels have much better perspective on the U.S. and slightly less culture shock. That certainly would help. I would also venture to say nurses are fantastic, so are teachers. How are you doing, Albert? Good to see you. I think that'll have to do Jack. <laughs> Philippines learned hoarding. Really? I've never seen that. I've never seen a Filipino hoarding. Well, I mean, yeah, maybe if they buy all the supplies. Yeah, I get that. <laughs> uh, nice to hear that, Gia. I hope I can meet a guy like you that's very concerned and can be trusted. Oh, you can. I'm sure you can. All right. I'm sure you won't have a problem. Minimalism, debt-free, saving freedom. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, Elo, Elo, I hear is great. So check it out for sure. I want to get there. Can you buy Western style? Yes, you can buy Western style mattress. Yeah, you can buy ones with pillow tops, memory foam. Yeah, you can get all that. When you show up for the first time from Australia on a tourist visa, do you have to show an onward? Yes, you do. You do. Yeah, it doesn't matter what country. It, it, all the rules are the same. You have to show an onward ticket and you can you can do the rent a ticket you can do the onward ticket.com so yes you can you can apply for the retirement visa while on a tourist visa yes you can most people do that actually in fact um, probably everybody does that really yeah well you know um a lot of guys do like um like mike does um well he you know um, but you can also get a Skype or a Google phone number, but uh, it's not it's not a bad idea to have that uh, U.S. phone. Be a minimalist, stay single. <laughs> I don't know, Albert. We, we talk about this all the time. I, I would say around the beginning of the year. Gio, can we use StreamYard or can connect on our mobile phone even if we don't? Yes, you can. You can do StreamYard. StreamYard is free. Um, it will have a big StreamYard logo um, unless you do a pay service, but otherwise it's free. Yeah, they're, uh, what they're doing, Ron, is it doesn't matter what location. They will give out Sinovac, Pfizer, Moderna, Johnson Johnson, whatever. It depends on what supplies they have and, um, you know, until they run out. And then their next shipment could be Sinovac. You know, you, you just don't know. Cost of living in Thailand is supposed to be lower than the Philippines, and some of the vloggers show it to be truly amazing free of tourists right now. Enjoy. It, uh, I would say Thailand is cheaper. I would say so. I'm actually I'm getting caught up on comments here finally. If the Philippines government keeps vaccinating its citizens, I don't see why it can't open up next year. I agree. I, I think they're on track to open up next year at the beginning. I really do. Laptop costs more in the Philippines, but PC costs less than a laptop. Hmm. I never checked. But uh, 
I don't think I would ever own a, a, a PC just because it's just too bulky for me to carry around. 200 to 300 kilometers in Manila where to buy private villa. Quite get that. Um, if you're on a retirement visa, but your money comes from your home country earned outside the Philippines, do Philippines government expect you to pay Philippines tax? No, because it doesn't come from this country. You didn't make it in this country. You're not doing anything in this country to make that. So there's also double taxation laws. Uh, Gio, do you have an exit date of when you'll be leaving the Philippines? And do you have a one year or six month contract on your condo? I did a six month contract on my condo. I extended it another six months. Um, I have to leave uh, around June of next year. Um, I may just leave sooner than that. If the Philippines opens around January, February, I may end up leaving before then. So we'll see what happens. Took me about two months to get my SRRV visa as soon as I had the requirements met. Two months. Oh, that's 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 not long at all. Gee, if you decide to move there permanently with your wife from there, are you allowed to import your vehicle for a fee or is that? Uh, listen, to import your vehicle to the Philippines, it would not be worth it. It would be literally 30 to 40%. Um, it's just extremely expensive. You know, I just know that it wouldn't be worth it. It just would not be worth it. You know, unless you're just extremely filthy rich and you just have extra money and you love your vehicle, but depends on your exchange rate. I think Philippines is a lot cheaper than Thailand. See, I, well, it depends on where you live. So it, it yeah. Hey, good, good, uh, good evening, Ephraim. Good to see you. I don't use Magic Jack. I use um, Skype, and I use um, what's the other one? Uh, Skype and uh, uh, Google. Will I be able to use my U.S. Bank debit card at ATMs there? And will ATM automatically give me pesos? Yes, automatically. You don't, you don't have to worry about that. It just automatically does it for you. Yep. Yeah, it'll be fine. Hey, good morning, Joel. Good to see you. So I agree with Gio that Philippines will probably open up January. Right now, NCR is close to 50% vaxxed. Yeah, that's 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 a lot. And um, there's still like tons of people in line, you know, to get the vaccine. So Jerry, where do you want to live if you get married to a Filipino? Are you going to move in the other countries? I think I would stay here in the Philippines. I really do. Just because it's not only because I don't want my Filipino wife to become westernized. That is a small part of it. That does worry me. Um, but that's not the reason. I like the Philippines. Um, I love the nature. I love the beaches, the mountains, the waterfalls, the, you know, just uh, the nature, the friendliness of the people. Um, are there things I don't like? Yeah, but that's, that's in every country, every country you go to, there's going to be something, things that you like and things that you don't like. And, um, the Philippines is no different, but, uh, there's more things that I do like about the Philippines than, than I don't like. So my, my pros for the Philippines are up here and my cons are down here. So positives and negatives. You can stay forever once you're married. Um, when you're married, now, a lot of people, even though they're married, will still get the retirement visa because there are some things that if, if, if you are married to a Filipina, I think she has to, every year, she still has to, you know, sign the document, uh, you know, stating, yes, we're married and whatever. Um, but if you're if something ever happened where you and your wife had some kind of major fallout, um, she can uh, go to the BI, I guess, and, and, and say, hey, we're no longer, you know, um, have it canceled and have you booted it from, from my understanding. I think Charles is here. Maybe he can tell you that. But I guess the uh, key is keep your wife happy. <laughs> Have a PC for investing, trading, four monitors, and a PC for movement. Best of both worlds. Yeah, yeah. 
Am I correct in guessing that when you leave the Philippines, you'll be coming back to the Philippines? <clears throat> well, you know, again, I, 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 I keep telling people this. I reserve the right to change my mind at any time because I do that a lot. But my plan right now is I will go back to the U.S., take care of everything I need to take care of. I literally have two to three months worth of stuff that I need to take care of in the U.S. I will do that. And I will then go to Colombia. Excuse me. <clears throat> I'll then go to Colombia for maybe just a couple of weeks. If I really like it, I'll stay longer. And then I'll head back to Southeast Asia. Maybe, um, maybe I will go to Malaysia or Vietnam or Thailand, Cambodia, and then head back to the Philippines. So it could be another six months. I could be gone from the Philippines for six months, possibly. I don't know for sure. Then again, maybe maybe I meet the right girl before I leave here and I go to the U.S. and hurry up and get back here again. I, I don't know. But that's my plan as far as uh, if I were to leave today, that's, that's my plan. Yes, that's, that's a big bonus with the Philippines is that most people can speak English. At least enough to get by and, and they can answer questions and stuff. So, How are you doing, uh, Kamal? Good to see you. Do you think the leaders in the Philippines really want their country open for tourism? I know it's not going to get into the politics as far as I see the president's running for VP next year. I don't know if he's running for VP or not. Again, I don't want to jump into the politics here, but I think they do want to open. Yeah, of course. Um, they just want to make sure they're, they don't have some major outbreak. And I still think they're kind of looking at like places like Thailand to see how things are being handled. And I think, you know, maybe they would have followed Thailand, but Thailand had another uh, outbreak and things got worse again. And um, so I don't, uh, I don't think Thailand was a great example for them to follow, um, even though it had really had nothing to do with bringing tourists in. That's not why they had the outbreak. Uh, do Philippines ATM machines charge you for an operator fee like Thailand where you get cash out to charge ATM fee, card fee, and foreign branded cards? You get a 250 peso uh, fee, which is five US dollars approximately, depending on what the exchange rate is. Now, if you can, if you get a bank, um, you, there are some banks, at least there are some banks in the US. I can't tell you about Australia or Canada. I think they're in the UK. But in the U.S., there are some banks that you can get that will refund you your ATM fees. Charles Schwab, Navy Federal Credit Union, USAA, uh, Fidelity, I think, just to name a few. And I know there's some that maybe do that as well in the U.K., uh, Canada, Australia. I, I think there's probably some. I can't imagine it's just the, the U.S. that does that. But um, that would be your best bet. Everyone knows that mandate for an onward ticket is enforced by all airlines, not by Philippines government. Yeah, that's right. That, that's right. That's who's going to check it before you get bored onto the plane. It's going to be the uh, the airline that's going to check for that. So, How are you doing, Rob? Good to see you. Yeah, well, again... Each bank is going to be a little bit different. That's that's part of the fun in the Philippines is guess what? You can go to one bank and they're going to tell you one, one set of requirements and you go to another bank, they're going to tell you another set of requirements. So it just depends which which bank you go to. But usually it's um, usually it's they want you to be here at least six months. They want you to have that alien certificate of registration card, ACR card shows that you're going to be here for a while, like a year still. And they want to see something like a lease or they want to see uh, an electric bill or something that's in your name. If your basis is alcohol, Philippines have cheaper beer than Thailand properties, though Thailand has cheaper rents and lower rent. Yeah, that's true. That is true. I, I would totally agree with that. The infrastructure is a bit better in Thailand, too. Okay, there's a good perk. Uh, SRRV, you can import 7,000 worth of personal effects without tax. I don't know if I, that could set that against a vehicle. I don't know. 
Yep, Charles Schwab. Yep, that's a good one. Well, um, you can lease the land. You can do a long-term lease on the land for like 25 years or something like that. And then, um, so technically you own the house, but you're leasing the land. But for a lot of people who are in their 60s or something, you probably won't live past that point anyway. So who cares, right? I agree. The Philippines will gradually open the first quarter of 2022, but I don't believe they will fully open until 2023. I would agree with that. I, there's not going to just be where they open the doors and everybody just comes in. I think it's going to be a slow, gradual reopening. It's not just everybody's just pouring in. Yeah, for sure. FYI, hurricane hitting New Orleans is in about an hour. In about an hour, has greater strength than Katrina. Sad, but a big test of the new levee system. Whew. Yeah, that was a rough time. I haven't had a laptop in a couple of years. I do everything on my phone and tablet. Would you suggest having a laptop in the Philippines besides my phone and tablet? Maybe some apps not available there. No, no, you, you can get everything you need on your on your phone and your tablet. If you don't need a laptop where you're currently, you don't need to get one. Don't worry about it. If I read that. Columbia, how do you how do you stay indefinitely? As I think they give you a 90-day tourist visa renewable once so. 80 days per year. I don't know. I don't know because I, I, I'm not looking to live there long term. So just visit. You cannot own land when you're a foreigner, but you can own the house like 50 50 with the wife. Well, you can own the house. Um, you can lease the land. Yeah. <laughs> if I go to South America, make sure you cater for your European audience with your timings of your live streams. Yeah, for sure. If I go to if if and when I go to Colombia, it's probably only going to be for a couple of weeks. I unless I'm just having a great time and then I, I couldn't possibly extend it. But I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, um, more and more. That's the one thing I've noticed in five years here in the Philippines, I've noticed that the internet has gotten better and better and better. And like, I have great stable internet connection, but I'm, I'm here in the city. However, I've noticed in places like Bohol and a lot of little province towns that they're advertising fiber now, and it's getting better. It's getting better. How about if I want to open with my wife like a 7-Eleven franchise and can I own that with my wife? Um, that I don't know, that I don't know. Uh, Gio, I like that you don't indulge in Philippines politics questions. Good job. Hey, I, I'm just a guest here in the country, you know. Um, so it, it's not my place. I can't vote. I don't have a right. The only thing I can do is watch and see. And uh, it's Filipinos' rights and it's Filipinos' choice on who they elect. And uh, it has nothing to do with me. So... ING Bank in Australia rebates ATM fees. Okay. ING Bank for Australia. Nobody in Afghanistan is wearing masks and they aren't dropping dead. Well, some of them are dropping dead, but not from COVID, right? <laughs> I suppose that's not funny. I probably shouldn't laugh at that. <clears throat> uh, better off pulling cash from an ATM because not having cash tied up. I. I personally don't, I had a Philippines bank because I worked in Cebu for two years and they basically, they opened up the bank account for you and they direct deposited for me. And um, personally though, once, once I had left that job after two years, I didn't want to have a bank account. I, I didn't. Um, there's nothing that I really needed a bank, a Philippines bank account for. Really, I, everything I, you know, I, I can do everything with my U.S. bank account. I believe there's only one bank in Canada that has no card transaction fees on foreign travel, but it only applies to military or veteran accounts, BMO, Bank of Montreal. Okay. Well, that's that's good to know. That's good information, Jeff. So, hey, Derek, how are you doing? Uh, until your ATM card expires, that's what happened to me. I'm just transferring it form to my U.S. bank to BDO. Well, most banks, uh, again, this is one thing you should do before you move out here. I don't care if there's still two years left on your ATM card. 
you call up your bank and you tell them, listen, I'm getting ready to move to another country. I want a new card mailed out and I want the ex expiration date extended as far out as you can do. If Let me speak to a manager or whatever and they will do it for you. They'll, they'll push it out as far as they can for you and send you out a new card and make that current card uh, invalid. And um, with my bank, USAA, they had no problem FedExing the card to me. However, the first time I was living kind of out in the province and it got lost. So they canceled it. And then I ended up having a friend who uh, carried it with them when he traveled to the Philippines. Living in the condo, I can say I get mail much, much easier now. So. Hey, appreciate that. Yeah, I do appreciate it if you guys do hit the thumbs up. That does help. So, no, I don't. I don't really get any power outages. Not really anymore. No. I was watching some vloggers do some. I assume you mean vloggers, not floggers. <laughs> uh, do some shopping for the new condo, and I almost fell over when I found out how much front loader washing machines are there cost in the. In the Philippines. I have a front loader in my uh, in in my uh, kitchen here. By the way, guys, I'm going to go ahead and call it a night. I'm going to get through these last comments. I've been going about 90 minutes. I'm a bit tired uh, today. I definitely appreciate everybody coming out. Over 300 on a Sunday night. That's awesome. That's uh, those are great numbers for me. I find the notion funny that you can own the house but not the property. What happens when the lease is up? Do you take the house with you? I I know, which is why you could. You, you can take a risk and go ahead and have your wife buy some property in her name and build the house. But, you know, again, I tell people, if you do buy a house, be prepared to walk away from it if something ever happened to your marriage. Hopefully nothing happens, but, you know, you just never know. Uh, my understanding is they're working on it and that they might do it very soon. So... Yeah. Let's see here. I'm just going to get through the last few comments. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Appreciate that. I do have the uh, second shot uh, tomorrow. So, yeah. Colombians, no. No, they don't. But you know what? You know, they, they're happy with uh, their life. So, I love the DJI Pocket, too. Perfect. And it comes like with the, this little hard case. So you, you just slide it in there and put it in your pocket. Um, and I end up buying this little, uh, this is a little battery pack and it slides the DJI Pocket 2 slides right in it and it can charge it about three more times and you can use it while you're charging it. There's a couple new things I got. And of course I got the uh, hard case for it as well. But uh, if you guys are interested in the DJI camera, the link is down in the description. Um, I have a uh, Geo's Essential Packing list of diff different things that I believe are very helpful to have if you're living out in the Southeast Asia, the Philippines, or just traveling. And uh, the camera's on there as well. So uh, 400 US dollars, which would be 20,000 pesos a month, which is pretty good. So how are you doing, Paul? Good to see you. Did you prepare for this? Yeah. Well, be careful. If you guys are around that uh, hurricane, please be careful, everyone. Uh, Gio, get ready for a real culture shock whenever you return to the U.S. Expenses, inflation have risen, prices, and most Americans are silent crammed, but still trying to keep up with the Joneses. Yeah. Uh, Mark says, if you're going to lease or buy land and place a home on it, then look at the container homes on wheels that you can take your home with you. You just lose what you put on the land only. That's good advice. Thumbs up later. I can't find the thumb. <laughs> Ideally, I'd like to lease land somewhere in the country and build a house, but I'm addicted to internet satellite. I think uh, you'll 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 get there eventually. When is the Philippines opening up? We, nobody knows for sure, but maybe the beginning of the year, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Hey there, I know you probably said this, but where are you right now? I am in Lapu Lapu. So. From the Philippines to the United States, I believe you do have to quarantine. Yeah, thank you, Wayne. Thank you, guys. Appreciate that. Um, thank you, guys. Everybody, take care, everyone. I'm just going to go ahead and say goodbye. I think. Okay.
Okay, I really enjoyed the interviews with the gals. Well, look uh, for more of those because I do plan on doing a lot more. And I actually, the direction my channel is going to go is I'm going to get a little bit more involved with locals. So anyway, okay, thank you guys so much. I appreciate you, you guys watching. Uh, take care. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.